everybody. Welcome to today's workout. It's gonna be about 15 to 20 minute workout. We're gonna hit the upper body, some cardio, and core. So let's get started with a little bit of a warm up. Hopefully you can hear my music. I've been experimenting with a second mic for music. So keeping my fingers crossed, all you'll need is a set of dumbbells. Today I'm gonna to use a 10 pound set of dumbbells, but you can feel free to do this workout without and just get used to the moves or just get something lighter or heavier. So let's get started. We're gonna take a nice big deep breath up, let it out one more time. And we're gonna roll those shoulders up and back, nice and big, getting that upper body nice and warm. Good, we're gonna do big arm circles right here, right and left. Let's open up those feet a little wider, bend those knees, four, three, two. Let's go the other way when you're ready. So we'll get warm for a couple minutes. If you need a longer warm up, please do so. And let's round and release the upper back, a little cat and cow. So we're just rounding through that upper back, getting everything nice and warm. A couple more. And last one. And let's just tap it out. Let's take it side to side, getting that core nice and warm with a little rotation, picking up that heel, pivoting on the toes. Let's push that arm out. Four more, four, three. Let's open and close those arms, take it out and in. Just a few times here. Get that upper body going. Good, hold the feet. Good, take a nice big deep breath up. Hands go on the thighs, flat back down, roll it all the way up, big shoulder roll. Again, nice and big, flat back down, roll it up. Really articulate that spine. Abs in nice and tight, roll it up. Let's do that one more time. Bring it down, roll it up, good. We're gonna take those feet apart a little wider and start with some squats, down and up. So I have a slight toe turnout, and that knee goes out in that line with the toe. So we don't wanna have the toes all the way turned out, but a slight angle is fine. We're just gonna go down and up, warming up those legs. They will be working today, even though the upper body is the focus and core today, we will be putting in some cardio. So we wanna make sure we're nice and warm. Four, three, two, and one. Bring those hands behind your head. We're gonna go right into a good morning. So we're gonna go down for two and up for two. Just gonna get the hamstrings warm and definitely the core. So we hinge from the hip. Those hands are just nice and light. Good. Notice I'm just coming up to a standing position. I'm not leaning back. I don't wanna strain the back. The abs are in nice and tight. Last one. And good. Let's take those feet out even wider now, warm up those inner thighs, so toes face me, and we're just gonna take it side to side. So nice quick pace here, we wanna get started right away. And then we're gonna take it a little bit lower here, we're gonna tap towards the floor, tapping that instep. So getting that little rotation here. Good. Four, three, two, and one. Take a nice big deep breath up and let it out. All right, I'm gonna grab my dumbbells. We're gonna get going. So we're gonna hit the whole upper body today. So we're gonna hit biceps, triceps, a little chest and back, especially when we're down on the floor. So there will be core, there will be cardio. Everything is either 30 to 45 seconds, so no worries there. If you can't finish an exercise, just maybe drop the weights and just continue the body movement. So the first one is gonna be a shoulder exercise. So we're gonna have the arms right here, palms facing in, and we're gonna rotate. It's called an Arnold press. So we're just gonna press up. So you get a little bit of biceps and a little bit of shoulders, okay? I'm gonna go one arm at a time, and we're gonna do this for 45 seconds. So if you feel like you wanna do maybe both arms together, that's fine, I'll let you know how much time we have. All right, let's come on up, abs are nice and tight. I'm gonna have that pelvic tilt, and here we go. I'm gonna take it up, and bring it right back in. Press it up. So you wanna keep that wrist straight. So you wanna really press up overhead. We have 30 seconds to go, this interval is 45 seconds, and then we'll follow it with some cardio for 30 seconds. So 
No worries there. All right, I'm gonna go both arms together. We have about 15 seconds to go. Again, you can do one arm at a time. Make sure you're not leaning back. So I have my knees bent a little bit, a little bit of a pelvic tilt there. Four, three, two, one. Good job. We're gonna take one dumbbell now. All right, our cardio move is gonna be a drop squat to, an over, to a press up. So it looks like this. I'll show you the low impact first. You're gonna go down, up, down, up. If you want higher impact, you're gonna drop it, push it up. So we're getting shoulders and we're getting biceps and definitely a little bit more core and cardio. So let's go. We have 30 seconds here. Ready? Here we go. So I'm gonna start with my feet together. Down, up, down. Now, if you don't like to jump, you're just gonna go side to side. This is called a drop squat. You go down, you drop those hips, slight toe turn out, and then you pull with the bicep and press up with the shoulder. Heart rate's going up. It's gonna be a quick workout. We're gonna get everything in, everything fired up. Four, three, two, one. Put them down, take a little rest. Water when you need it. Next, we're gonna work the biceps. So we're gonna come up for two and down for two. Your biceps are already a little warm from that last exercise. Here we go. Shoulders down. If your lower back bothers you, you can kickstand this, but otherwise you're gonna stand with your feet parallel. Ready, here we go. So this is a 45 second move. Notice I'm not rigid with my elbows pulled in because we don't want to be tight, but you do want those elbows pretty close to the rib cage. And notice I'm coming up from the bottom, really lengthening from the top down. So you don't want to cut that, that range of motion. You want to keep it nice and long. Keep the wrist straight. So try to really pull with that bicep. So the upper body stays still. You have 15 seconds. Remember, you can drop the weight so you can go one arm at a time. Remember, kickstand if you need to. Core is in nice and tight. Feeling it. Four, three, two, and one. And that's what you want to do. You want to feel that muscle. You definitely want to feel it towards the end. Even though it's a quick workout, you want to feel that muscle burn a little bit. All right. So now we're going to combine it with a little cardio. I'm gonna do a bicep curl and drop the weights and jump, or you can just bicep curl and squat if you don't wanna jump, okay? All right, so this is gonna be a hammer curl. So we're still getting the biceps. We're gonna get a little, a little core and cardio here. All right, feet apart, okay? So we're gonna curl. I'm gonna put it down, jump, pick them up, curl, put them down. Jump, remember that jump can be a squat. I'll show you from the side. You can put them down, squat, okay? So the point here is to get that up and down movement. You have to really keep those abs strong as you reach down and squat to get those weights. So again, if you don't wanna drop the weights, just do a bicep curl and a squat. I like to add a little jump. Abs in nice and tight, chest is up, and you reach down for those weights. Four, three, two, let's get one more in. One, good. All right, I'm gonna grab a quick drink. Ooh, we are moving on to back. All right, so we're gonna do a twisting row. So we're gonna be feet apart, one weight in each hand, palms facing each other and we're gonna go up and down. So we're pulling the elbows back, not up. Back, singles first, and then we're gonna add a little pulse at the end, all right? You wanna feel the back. So I'm gonna do this one from the side. So my feet are not apart, apart too much, but again, you can kickstand it if you like. Here we go. We're gonna go back and press. 45 seconds. I'll show you from the front. So I'm pulling those elbows back, but instead of pulling with my hands, I'm pulling with my back. 
I'm not arching my back. I'm just using my back muscles to get those weights up. It's a great way to fire up the back muscles. Especially your mid back right here. Work in the lats, right in that back. You should be feeling this as you pull up. Now we're gonna hold it up and pulse for three, two, one. Lower down and pulse for three. You wanna keep that neck nice and relaxed. Two, three, and a few more seconds. If three pulse is not for you, just do singles. Let's do one more. And release, good, put them down. The next move is another cardio, little core move with the back. So what we're gonna do is we're going to pull, put them down and burpee back. If you don't like that, you're gonna go down, come up. You can do a dead row. So slight knee bend, so you hinge at the hip and you can do a row and then a stand. So the dead row, you want to push the hips back. These are slightly bent, okay? Otherwise, I'm gonna go a little lower because my weights have to hit the floor so I can burpee back. I'm gonna keep my hands on my weights. 30 seconds. All right, I'm gonna get a little lower in my squat. Row, half burpee. Row, half burpee. So we have 30 seconds. Again, if that half burpee is not for you, you can walk it back. You can walk, 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 walk. Row, and you just do that alternating your sides. Pushing into the heels for you to jump, or like I said, just do the squat or the deadlift. Come on, push. Feet are a little closer together, which is an added challenge for your core. And one more. Put them down. Nice. All right, so we got some back. We got biceps, we got shoulders. We're gonna move on to triceps, back of the arm. All right, so we're gonna do a kickback, but we're gonna combine it with a little shoulders. So we're gonna do a kickback and a lateral raise. So we're gonna hinge on the kickback, lateral raise. So I'm gonna keep my elbows bent the whole time. Weights are a little heavier here and here, okay? All righty, let's get started. Are you ready? All right, we have 45 seconds on this one. You're gonna hinge forward, weights up, we kick it back, and we lateral raise. So this one is great if you're short on time because we're getting another side of the shoulder in. We're getting the medial delt in. So it's really nice to combine these moves when you can. It's getting a little heavy, feels it. These are two Pretty tough moves, and these are tinier muscles. Whereas the back is like a bigger muscle, like your chest. So I don't want you to swing. You really just want to hinge. So it's hinge, stand, lateral raise. Now notice I have that L shape with my lateral raise. Come on. And one more here. Leading with that chest. How about one more? I'm feeling it. Ah, oh, nice job. All right. Good work. All right. So we're gonna get triceps in a little bit again with some chest and core, but this one is a more dynamic exercise. This is really for the core. You're gonna do a clean and press with a burpee or a squat or a drop squat. So I'll show you all of those. We're gonna be alternating the weight. So you just need one weight for this one. So you're gonna have that weight on the floor. You're gonna pick it up, clean and press it. So you can be right here for 30 seconds, okay? I'm going down in a low squat, loaded in my heels, not my toes, to pick up the weight, clean it, press it, okay? So it's a quick movement, like you're zipping up your coat, gets the core, also gets shoulder. So if you want, when you put the weight down, you can do a jump, a jump squat, okay? You can do a drop squat, okay, or a burpee back. So. I'm gonna mix it all up. So let's get that weight in position. 30 seconds, get ready and go. So here's one like this. I'm gonna do just a squat jump. So when you put it down, you add a little cardio before switching. Here it is with a drop squat. 
So lots of options here so you don't get bored. It's nice to mix it up. Here it is with the burpee. So I'm gonna put my hands on the ground burpee. Pick it up. So 30 seconds is quick. So you kinda gotta know what you're doing. Let's just do one more. Nice. All right, grab a quick drink. Ooh, let me get one. And we are going down to the ground. All right, we're gonna go for a little chest and triceps. Just gonna go down. Okay. All righty. We are gonna be in a bridge position for this one. So you're gonna have your arms up. So it's gonna be a chest fly to a tricep um, skull crusher. So your palms are facing each other, your head stays down. So here's the chest fly. And then you bring your weights parallel to a tricep skull crusher, okay? So one of each, I'm gonna hold a bridge the whole time. Since it's two movements with the upper body, I'm not gonna move the bridge. So you can not do the bridge if you don't want to, just bring those hips up. Notice I'm on the shoulders, so I'm not on the neck, and your feet are parallel. Okay, ready, I'm gonna hold that up. We have 45 seconds, here we go, chest fly. It's one and one. So notice on the skull crusher, my elbows are staying right over my shoulders. So you lower down for that chest fly, working the chest, the front delt. You have a slight bend in the elbow, and then you come up and you're squeezing those glutes the whole time too. So it's a lot to kind of think about, but this is again, a great workout. If you're short on time, you're getting a little cardio, you're getting your strength training, Strength training is so important, especially for women. As we get older, our muscle mass diminishes. And in order to keep that metabolism fired up, we need to replace that muscle that we're lo losing every year, every decade. It's not a rapid thing, but as long as you're lifting some weights or doing some body weight strength training, you can really stay on top of it. And you just feel better too. It helps just your overall mood your strength, you can move through your day a little quicker, better, more efficiently, stronger, helps with balance and bone density. So many beautiful things. Last one. All right, Whew. okay. All right, we are gonna flip over. So we're gonna do some mountain climbers. So you're gonna definitely get the heart rate up. You're also gonna feel those arms. So this is 30 seconds. If you do not like to do mountain climbers, you can stand and do alternating knees. Or if you don't like to be on your hands, you can have your hands on dumbbells or just on the ground. So I'll just show you on dumbbells here. And you pick whichever mountain climber you want. So again, if you're just starting out, you've never done a plank before, you know, do a modified plank on your knees and just hold it. Okay, just hold that, okay? Otherwise, you've done these before, Come on up to a plank. Abs are tight, tight, tight. We're gonna keep those hips down and we're gonna climb for 30 seconds. Ready, go. I'm gonna start with a cross mountain climber and then I may mix in a regular mountain climber, bring that knee in. You just don't wanna be up here with your hips. So your hands are under the shoulders, you're reaching along through the crown of the head. I'm kind of running it here, but if you don't wanna run it, right there or right here, okay. We have about 10 seconds to go. Pull that core in, it helps. Four, three, two, and one. Ooh. All right, we're gonna come back down. All right. This time, we're gonna work the chest, but we're gonna also add the abs. So we're gonna do a chest press with a leg lower. If you're new to this one, just do maybe holding the legs up in tabletop working on that, the core, just holding the legs up. But I'm gonna do a leg lower with the chest press. So we're gonna have those arms out and you're gonna go up and down with the chest press. I'm gonna have my legs up, my hips down. And as I press, I'm gonna lower one leg, maybe both, but I wanna make sure, and you can get going, 45 seconds, I wanna make sure 
that my back stays imprinted, my lower back especially stays pressing into the mat as I lower the leg. So again, this is a great compound exercise because you're getting core and you're getting upper body, you're getting some chest in. So maybe I take both down. Breathe, looking good. It's slow and controlled. When we pull those abs in, don't worry about how low you go. And those upper arms kind of just float off the ground. Again, you don't have to add the core work. This is a big core move right here, last one. And bring it up, good job. All right, so next one is one of my favorites, a bicycle. So I'll show you how to spice it up. This will be our last move. So if you wanna do just a regular bicycle, you have your legs up, you're gonna reach shoulder to knee, okay? You're gonna keep the lower abs in and you're gonna twist over with your shoulder, even though your elbow might touch. What you don't wanna do is this. You really wanna get over and get that twist. If that doesn't work for you, just work on the rotation, hand behind your head, and then reach that arm out to the outside of the leg, okay? Or you can just crunch to the side here. That works too, okay? Get used to that. Make sure your hands are nice and light behind your head. If you wanna ramp this up, we're gonna take one weight, hold it over the shoulders. My head's gonna be up and I'm gonna bicycle the legs from a straight position. So if you want, you can be right here, okay? It's a little harder because my upper abs are working a little hard, holding that weight up. And you have 30 seconds of this one. So you don't want the weight behind you, just keep it right over. I'm really feeling this. And then we have a bonus move. A bonus move. Come on. Abs in nice and tight. Four, three, two, and one. Ooh, nice job. All right, our bonus move is gonna incorporate your back, the lats in the back. It's gonna be a pullover, okay, to a crunch. So I'll give you an option to extend the legs. So if you just wanna do the pullover, you're gonna have your legs up in tabletop. So you're gonna pull over. So it's a little different than a tricep skull crusher. And then crunch. So you wanna have those knees bent, okay? Legs in tabletop, knees bent. Okay, so if you wanna make it a little harder, you can extend one or both legs out and then crunch, other leg goes out. Again, moving the limb away is a challenge, but you wanna make sure that the lower abs stay in and your back stays down. So you might wanna just go out a little bit and come in or maybe just do it in tabletop. All right, bonus move. All right, 45 seconds of this one. We're getting back, we're getting a lot in here. It's one of my favorites. So I'm gonna start with the crunch and pull over your 45 seconds. Really blow that air out. It's kind of like a little bit of a weighted crunch, but it's great because you don't want to add momentum. You're just doing this slowly. Blow that air out. So it's important to know when you pull over, you really want to have your head down. So I'm going to add the extension. So as I go back, I'm gonna take both legs out and crunch, out and crunch. If your hips lift up a little bit, that's okay. You can add a little, little hip lift right there. Never hurt anybody. I like it. It's a little reverse curl right there. Now, if you're in control, you can pick up the pace. Four, three, Two and one, you did it. Great job. We're gonna go down, we're gonna stretch out a little bit. Let's come on over, do a little cat and cow. Great job. Hands under shoulders, knees under hips, nice neutral spine reaching through the crown of your head. We're gonna round up, exhale, inhale to cat. So we're getting that flexion in the spine, and then we're getting that. Ah, 
You can look up with that if you want. Otherwise, just lift that tailbone. So that's a great workout if you're short on time. Got a little cardio, you got some strength. One more. Nice, let's sit back into child's pose. Taking those hips back, you can take the knees wider if you like. And then come forward into a little up dog, or if that's just too much, come into a little sphinx pose here. Anything that gives you that little bit of extension in the spine, your toes are pointed. So again, if you wanna come up a little more, maybe a little baby cobra, shoulders down, lift the heart. And again, if you want that full downward facing or upward facing dog, you're right here. Which brings me to our next move. A little downward facing dog, curl the toes under, pop the hips up, pedal those feet. Get a nice stretch through the calves, the hamstrings, the ankles, and feet. So have your hands about shoulder distance apart and your feet are about hip distance apart. And then just settle down with those heels working towards the floor. It's okay if they don't touch. And then you're gonna look at your hands, okay? And walk your feet in. Little baby steps, fold over your legs. And then bring the arms up, big inhale. Exhale and grab your left wrist, take it to the side. Inhale back to center, grab that other wrist. Come back to center. Exhale, bring the arms down and behind you, back of the hands down and lift. We're gonna also do a calf stretch here, standing calf stretch, getting the upper body as well as the lower body stretched. And then switch legs, pressing that heel down past the floor. Excellent job. And then bring both feet together, lace the fingertips, and then just push out to get that nice C shape through the spine, particularly the upper back. Get a nice stretch through the biceps here too. The arms are nice and straight. C curve the spine, just make sure your shoulders are down and not up by your ears. We don't want any more tension there. And then take those arms all the way up. Feet wide, exhale, come halfway down, if it's appropriate, all the way down. Uh, just let everything hang. And then bend the knees, take your hands above the knees and slowly roll it up. Big shoulder roll, big deep breath. Bring your hands to your heart and thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed that. We got some core, we got some cardio, definitely got snuck in a little bit of leg in there and definitely upper body. So I will see you next time.